What's the forecast for the future of mobile apps? If WeChat is any example, there's money to be made in messaging. WeChat is a five-year-old smartphone app owned by Chinese internet giant Tencent Holdings. WeChat claims an estimated 650 million users who use the service not just to chat, but to send money, buy products, and even book doctor's appointments. There are an estimated 2.5 billion people around the world registered to use at least one messaging app. WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and WeChat are the most popular apps globally. As the number of app users is only expected to grow, WeChat's success is prompting tech companies to add more options to once simple messaging apps. In December, Uber teamed up with Facebook, and users can now hail rides through the Facebook Messenger app. The Wall Street Journal reports Facebook will be making a similar deal with Lyft, another car hailing service. Facebook has also partnered with online retailers Zulily and Everlane to let users track their online orders from inside the app. Snapchat is incorporating news into its feeds, while Slack is turning a chat platform into a substitute for email in small and medium-sized businesses. Analysts say messaging apps are ideal hubs for other services because they're simple to use and have large numbers of users who spend a lot of time with them. But what's taken off in China hasn't yet translated overseas. For example, one of WeChat's most popular features is a virtual envelope stuffed with cash that users can send to each other. With an eye on social trends, Facebook is investing in expanding features for the Messenger app. Later this year, Dutch airline KLM plans to offer booking confirmations and boarding passes over Messenger. Hyatt Hotels Group allows guests to ask for fresh towels or housekeeping over Messenger. Facebook hasn't commented on how much revenue it's made so far from these efforts.